appears a piece in all finger numbers with the position I'm playing at the top left. When the numbers are spaced close together, you play them without pausing. And when there's a little space, you leave a little space. It's a very simple rhythmic system, um, but if you find you know the song once you play the notes, you're welcome to adjust your rhythm to fit it more accurately. For example, if I play this piece as written, it sounds like this. Now, some of you may have recognized this as the popular little folk tune Hot Cross Buns. Uh, the repeating notes in this song are actually much faster. So now that I know what the song is, I can go back and play it um, like this. Some of the songs in the lesson were composed specifically for it, but some of them you might recognize, so keep a close ear on what you're playing. Lastly, instead of waiting for you to play, I'm going to ask you to pause the video when the songs come up so that you can work them out on your own time, and then restart the video so I can play through them for you um, to check your work. By the way, if you're watching us at Liberty Park Music, as a Liberty Park Music member, um, you can find a downloadable copy of all of the songs featured here on the lesson page. Okay, we're going to do our right hands first. Let's take a look at the first piece. Well, once again, we have the position at the top, the numbers that are close together get played without any spaces, and the gaps in between the numbers indicate a little pause. So even though you'll be pausing the video to figure things out, I really encourage you to try and read and play these pieces steadily without fully stopping. See if you can read and play it like you would a piece of music or a book, since you probably haven't read much music at this point. Um, it really is a great practice and a great habit to establish. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can play through this. How'd you do? Let me play it now. Um, hopefully you got something that sounded like this. Hopefully, if you had some sort of issue or were a little confused about how this was supposed to work, it's clearer now. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one is now in G position, so make sure you make that adjustment, and this one also has a little more linear movement. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can read through it. Hopefully you got something that sounds like this. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.